Okay, so this is going to be the two month update of these Black Lens Chukka Canvas shoes. I did an initial review of these about two months ago, and I'm gonna cover the comfortability, durability, and a couple things I would change about these shoes in this video. It's not gonna be super long. This is mainly for those who watched the initial review and wanna know a little bit more after I've worn them for a while. So for comfortability, I would say these are after wearing them for two months, I would say they are comfortable. When I first put them on, they felt very spacious and they felt different than a normal shoe in a good way. I wouldn't necessarily say they feel barefoot. Like I know they're called barefoot shoes technically, but I wouldn't necessarily equate this to being barefoot. I can definitely tell that I have shoes on and it very much so feels like a shoe. I know there are other barefoot shoes out there that are way thinner in the insole. I haven't tried any of those on yet. I might try some of them soon, but I'm guessing those will have much more of a tactile feel as you walk around. You can really feel the things in the ground. The wide toe box is great. I initially didn't really notice it that much, but after wearing these for two months, I went back and put on my old Chukka boots, the Clark's Desert Boot, and I really felt constricted in the toe area. Like having this wide toe box really makes a big difference and it really makes it a much more comfortable shoe to walk around in. You really realize after a while that this is actually how your foot is shaped and that other shoes are quite constricting. The shoes are quite bendy and it's not really apparent until you're doing anything like walking upstairs. So when you're walking upstairs, I noticed using just the toe of my shoe, I could definitely feel a lot less support. Like I had to really support myself with my foot and the arch of my foot and using my leg muscles. But walking around in it isn't really much different. I know some people report with barefoot shoes that after walking around for a while, they felt soreness in their legs, like they were actually getting a workout. I didn't feel any of that. Um, the only difference I noticed is walking upstairs. If you use just the tip of your toe, like kind of like walking just on the ball of your foot up here, up the stairs, um, you definitely have to support yourself a little more than you would with a normal fully supported shoe. The shoes are a little hard to get on. You definitely have to untie them to get them on. Once they're on your foot, they're very hard to slip off. I actually find myself using this loop on the back to pull them on. Um, I've never really used the loop on the shoes, but with these ones, I don't find myself sliding my finger in there and using it to pull them on. Definitely not a slip on shoe. Something I plan on doing in the future is replacing these regular laces with elastic laces so I can actually just stretch those out, tie them once and slip these shoes on and off. I didn't do that for these two months because I wanted to get a good review of the shoe as is without doing anything to it, but I will be putting elastic laces on these just because in my preference, I'm lazy and I like to just slip my shoes on and off quickly and go about my day. One complaint I've had a little bit of experience with, and I had a friend try these on and he complained about it, is the back of the shoe is rough. So if you're wearing low socks and your heel is touching the back of the shoe, you are gonna get a lot of rubbing and you could potentially get blisters on the back of this shoe. This wasn't a huge issue for me because my socks are tall enough to come a little bit out of the shoe and they prevent all that rubbing from happening. But if you do plan on wearing these without socks, I definitely wouldn't recommend this canvas material because it's quite rough and it's pretty unforgiving on the back of your heel. I would definitely only recommend getting these shoes if you have socks tall enough to block your heel from rubbing against the back. When you do have socks on, my socks aren't that thick, they're quite thin, but when you do have those socks on, it's not noticeable and I had no issues with the comfort in these shoes. I've been walking around in them for two months. I've had no sores on my feet, no blisters, no anything. It's just something to mention because my friend wore these for a little bit. He wears like no-show socks and he was complaining about the heel rubbing. Uh, he just tried them on for like a walk back to the car when we were at the beach one time because he liked the shoes. As for durability, I do feel like they're quite durable. I haven't noticed any stitching coming off the shoe, nothing really. The only thing I've really noticed is inside this loop a little, there's a little bit of loose thread. And then also on the front of the shoe, there is some creasing in the canvas material. It doesn't look bad at all, but it is definitely something to notice. Um, I'll get a good shot of that and show you. I noticed it at the gym the other day, but it kind of has like a little bit of a wrinkling to the front of the shoe from walking in it and that canvas material bending. The laces of the shoes have held up great. All the aglets are intact, so nothing has really come apart. I've taken good care of them, so I didn't really expect it to be an issue, but I haven't really done any rough housing in these shoes. If you do rough housing in any shoes, they're gonna fall apart. Like if you're just running through gravel and kicking concrete, your shoes are gonna come apart quickly. I don't know why you'd be kicking concrete. Um, I don't recommend that regardless of the shoe you're wearing. The bottom of these shoes have also held up great. Even the Lems logo on the bottom has all the coloring and all the detail that I had when I got it. One complaint about these shoes is the bottom, there is just enough space between the grooves in the shoes for small rocks, like on asphalt or in gravel, to get in between the grooves. And I find myself kicking them off a lot in the car. Like I'll rub my foot on the carpet to get them out of my shoe and I'll just accumulate little rocks in my car mat. Um, kind of annoying, but I guess with any shoes like this, you're just gonna get small rocks in them and that's just something you have to deal with when you have shoes like this. The tongue of the shoe is also held up great. All the tags on the shoes are holding up great. There's nothing really discoloring a lot on the shoes. There is one thread coming out over here, but it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. And everything else on the shoe is holding up great. I really have not seen much signs of wear and tear. Obviously the logo with the bottom of the heel rubbed off, but everybody knows that rubs off within like the first few weeks of having a shoe. It's just there really when you first get them. Not sure why, but the foot padding in the shoe is still holding up. Everything's holding up and nothing is really coming apart. I've really been enjoying these shoes and they've been very durable. And I've actually gotten compliments on them, which is not something I expected. I had about three people see these shoes and say they liked how they looked. I think they meant they just liked the canvas look 
Um, I've noticed once they get a better look at them, people do comment on the wide toe box because it is unusual for a shoe to look like that anymore. So given all that, things I would change about this shoe, one is the price. I think 120 is a little steep for these shoes. They are nice shoes and I really feel like they're gonna hold up for a long time, but 120 is steep. But given the durability, I think it could potentially be justified given how long I think these shoes are going to last. I think it is a little steep for a shoe that's just this minimal and plain. I don't know how much research and development one of these shoes or if Lems and really needs their profit margins to be high because of special design on these shoes, but they are quite steep. I find it odd that they are even priced at $120. I think they should be around $80 personally. The last thing I would change about it is obviously the heel I mentioned. They should either add some padding or support in the back of the shoe that would prevent your heel from rubbing against it. I understand that would compromise the aesthetic of the shoe a little bit, but I think it would add a lot of value to a lot of people to wear these with no-show socks because there are a lot of people who don't like the sock look at all. Other than that, my general overview of these shoes is I'm surprised. I actually like these shoes quite a bit. I'm going to be wearing them pretty much every day unless I need to do anything else. They've been fantastic for working out. I love the flat bottom of the shoes. It's great for leg day if you care about that. I found that I use a lot more on my leg when I'm actually doing leg workout and it feels way better. My legs have actually grown in size since I've gotten these shoes and I think it's just because I'm wearing shoes without that much padding. I'm getting a lot of contact with the floor and really using my legs to work out. I really love the wide toe box. It's kind of hard to actually go back to any shoes. Like dress shoes really feel like dress shoes now. When I put on my old chuckas and it had the pointed toe, I really felt it. And it kind of was surprising to me because all night I was kind of like having moments where I was like, oh, like my pinky toes up against the edge of the shoe. It's kind of uncomfortable. With these, with the wide toe box, you really don't get any of that. Your foot just spreads out in the shoe and it's fine. These have definitely kind of turned me on to the idea of barefoot shoes. I still think for dress shoes, I like the pointed toe. I want to wear dress shoes on the occasions that I want to wear them because I think they look nicer and I don't care about the pointed toe when I'm wearing dress shoes because they're not supposed to be comfortable. They're supposed to look dressy. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints about these shoes. Would I recommend them? If you've been considering barefoot shoes specifically, then yes, I would recommend them. If you just like the look of the shoes, I would also recommend them, but just keep in mind the wide toe box and people might comment on it. And when you look down at your own feet, you kind of get like surprised. You're like, oh, my shoes look really weird. But nobody really notices it unless they take a good look. I think Lems is a great company now. I think they really made a solid shoe and I'm pretty impressed with this. And this black shoe is good for every occasion because black just goes with everything. Other than that, that's just my general thoughts on these shoes. I hope that was helpful to anybody looking into these shoes. I'm trying to cover them as much as I can just because I saw no reviews of them online. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe. I don't know how many shoe reviews I'm going to be making, but I have found that I kind of enjoy reviewing products, which is weird because I don't really buy many things, but I have enjoyed the review process. So I'm probably going to be reviewing more things in the future. Um, if you'd like to see more and you think my reviews are good, then let me know and I will continue making them. But other than that, I hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've been considering getting these, go ahead and give them a try. And honestly, I think you won't be disappointed. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.